Forgiveness, do we deserve a second chance? Today, good morning guys, we, ha we are graced with the presence of our College of Nursing speaker, Ms. Martina Valencia, and our student, Cedric, from the College of Business. Um, first of all, we thank you, um, Ms. Martina, for granting us this opportunity to have an interview with you today. And um, I really appreciate the message that we had this morning. It really hit me home because whenever I feel guilty about something, I try to run away from people, from my family, from God, and even from myself. And it is really comforting to be reassured that forgiveness is God's gift and it's something that is not to be earned. And so I'd like, I'm interested and I'd like to ask, please tell me about your preparation process for this event. Okay. Um, so of course you have to make your narrative first. So that took me about a week because if you're a nursing student, the struggle as to being a nursing student is that you have to balance your lectures and then your duties. And my duties are ranging from nine to four which is a lot of time. So actually, in all honesty, I was only able to run through my sermon at least three times out loud because that was the only um, time I could do it. But what I could suggest when you're preparing for a sermon is that you really have to know the flow of the sermon so that even though you don't remember exactly the words that you have to say, at least the line of thought is there. And of course, the guidance of the Holy Spirit, which is the most important thing. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's essential. The outline of what you're going to say, right? You have to have an idea at least of what the topic is all about. And now we have here Cedric from the College of Business. And I would like to, I'm interested in knowing his experience, his insights, his reflection after listening to uh, our speaker's uh, sermon. So my reflection about today's message, uh, forgiveness, do we deserve a second chance? For me, it really touched my life. Uh, I know that even though that I am a very sinful child against our Lord, He still forgives me. And He is still there for me even though I face hardship in every day. And uh, every aspect, I, uh, I am not perfect. Yeah, I am not perfect. But although I am not perfect, God is always there for me to guide me into the better direction that he wants me to be. Thank you so much. And that's true. The message today remind us, reminded us that God is always there despite of our circumstances, despite that we think that we don't deserve the second chance. He's there to say, you have a second, a third, and more chances as long as you're still here striving. Thank you so much for that. Praise the Lord. So, Ms. Martina, what problem do you think your topic helps to solve? Um, I think as students, we are somehow in that point in our life where we're so, um, we go through a lot of things and there's a lot of things that go in our head and sometimes we feel as if we're imperfect and we don't deserve the second chance. And I hope and pray that the message that God has given us this morning will be a constant reminder that imperfection is okay because God died for a sinner, not for a perfect being. That's why the forgiveness that he is offering us today is free. And you don't have to do anything for it. You just have to accept God's gift to you. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Now that you learned all those things, that you got that, that experience, that insight from the message, how can you apply all those things that you learned in your, in your daily life as a COB student, as a business student? So as a CUB student, not only a CUB student, a student here in AUP, um, we should always think that all of us here are not perfect. We are all imperfect. We should think of them also, our brothers and sisters here. And how, how will I apply it? Uh, will I apply it by, although it, it is hard to forgive our enemies, but God is so merciful. God, even though we are so sinful, God still forgives us. And we should be a Christ-like character, so we should always forgive the ones who hurt us. That's really true. When we show the love that, that God uh, given, give, uh, gives us every day, we deserve 
that second chance as well from heart when we when we show to others as well that specificity uh, while you're preparing with your um, message for this morning uh, what do you think is the impact that you want to instill or to um, to evoke for for everyone here that ha has heard your message um, if they were to forget everything else and just remember one I would say that the forgiveness that God offers you is free and as a response we should also extend this forgiveness to others so it's not just for you and God should encourage you and inspire you to forgive others as well as he have forgiven you it is really a very hard task to forgive somebody that is that has hurt you but if we realize that through God's love we can forgive we can do it so yeah that's a really good reminder and for the last question of this very short interview I would like to ask Cedric about what uh, would you say to those students who maybe are unwilling to come to a PIC to attend the week of prayer or who are not really interested in this topic? So for those students who are not willing to attend for a week of prayer, please, please attend because it will touch your life also. It will mold you into a better version of yourselves and will guide you. And uh, you will uh, face a lot of realizations in your life. And... Uh, it will reflect uh, all the aspects of your life and it will, help, it will help you to your future. Okay, thank you so much to all of you for coming to this short interview. Thank you for your answers. We really appreciate that. Uh, and I hope that all of us will get benefited through this. Thank you so much and God bless you all.